In this video, I'm going to show you a quick data entry trick that you can use in a list of data. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In this workbook, I have a little table where I'm entering data. I've got region, product, and note. Over here, I have tables. These would usually be on a different sheet, but I've left them here just so you can see them. We've got four regions, several products, and then sometimes we put a note when we're entering a row of data. In the table, if I click on a cell, there are drop down lists. You can see east, central, southeast, and southwest, which is an exact match for the list that I have here. And over here, I've got another drop down, and that's our list of products. And again, it's the exact same list that is over here that's built with data validation. Over here, there's no drop down list there, we just type something. If I want to put another discount in here, if I start typing DIS, it's not going to automatically fill that in for me because I have two discounts and I'd have to type all the way to the one or the five before it would be able to distinguish a unique entry for it to copy. But if I click on this cell and type a D and then press the Alt key and the down arrow, that opens up a little list that shows the text items from this list. So if this customer is also going to get a 10% discount, I just have to click that. If we've got cells with data validation, we've already got that built-in list, but sometimes this isn't too bad, but you might have a really long list where it's hard to find something. If you know these items are already in the column, perhaps I'm going to put in another milk chocolate skim, I can type an M, and if I press the Alt and down arrow, we have the items arranged in alphabetical order, so it's not the list from the worksheet, it's what we've already got in this column, and I can select one of the items. I'm going to just clear one out to show. If I select this list now, and there's nothing I've typed in that cell, if I type Alt and down arrow, it shows the full data validation list from the worksheet. So if you want to use this shorter list, be sure you type a letter first and then either use the shortcut Alt and down arrow or right click and pick from drop down list to see the short list of items that are in this worksheet column. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.